how to make an art portfolio website for school using Wix. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own art portfolio for school or even for your professional needs using Wix. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to create an account on Wix. I already have an account, but all you need to do is register using your email address, or you can even sign up using Google, Facebook, or your Apple ID. So you have these four options available for you to create your Wix account. Now, once you have created your Wix account, what you're going to do is this is going to be your basic dashboard, and you're just going to click on create new site over here. And then we're just going to start the process creating our own website using Wix. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to use the platform of Wix, not the Editor X, because the Editor X is more so for professionals. Unless you have extensive experience on how to create your own website, I would not recommend the Editor X. Now, we're just going to click on Wix over here, and we're just going to load the Wix website editor. Now, after that, Wix is going to ask you what kind of website you're looking to create. We're going to create a portfolio and we're going to create a art portfolio and then after that they're going to ask you what kind of features you want to add to your website this is just so they can accurately recommend you templates for the website that you are looking to create so we're just going to click on next over here we don't want any specific features on our website this is more so a simple portfolio now after that they're going to ask you whether or not you want to create your website using the wix adi which allows you to create a website with just a couple of questions so i'll you have to do is answer a couple of questions and then your website will be created for you and then you can just customize it or you can use the Wix website editor to create your own website from scratch. I recommend editing a template and the reason for that is it gives you a lot more hold and customization and I find that it just enables you to create like something that is so personalized and a lot more unique but you can also go down the ADI route for you to have a smoother and easier website building experience now we're going to click on edit a template and we're going to begin our journey now after that which is going to recommend you a bunch of different templates uh we're going to search for portfolio and there are two things you can do either you can pick out one of these portfolios and you know these template portfolios and then customize these or you can also click on blank templates over here and then you will have these simple layouts or even just an absolute blank template for you to get started with creating your art portfolio now that is totally up to you on how you would like to create your portfolio i wouldn't recommend starting from a absolute blank template if you have like a very exact or precise idea of how you want your website to look then i would suggest that you can uh, get started from scratch or if you're not certain about what exactly you want the look of your website to be or portfolio to be then you can just click on search templates go on art portfolio and then you can just take some inspiration from over here now you can see there are several different options uh, i'm just going to browse some of these options to see i think i actually really like this one over here so you can click on view over here to view the template or you can just directly click on edit to begin editing and customizing the template to make it your own so we're just going to begin customizing our template and I'll show you guys step by step how to customize a template to make it your own how to remove and add pages and it takes a couple of seconds to load up a template so don't worry now once your template has been loaded, what you're going to do is you're going to see on your left, you have this navigation panel. On your top right, you have some more tools and then you have your publishing tools on the top right as well. Now on your top left, you have the pages of your template. This template has a homepage, a selected work about and contact page. And sometimes some templates have like a lot of different uh, pages. And I usually like to start off by removing those, but uh, this one has like decent amount, has this amount of pages so i'm going to get started by customizing the text over here which is the logo text and i'm just going to enter my own name it's going to be jane's art portfolio and then i'm just going to expand this text box over here and then i'm going to move this header back up like it was like this and then you can also just select the text over here to change the heading style into whatever heading style you want so i'm gonna go with heading number four and then what you can also do is you can change the font size to better fit your look and then you can click on bold as well then you also have effect so you can add different effects to the logo text or to any text in this fashion uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this back up 
like so. Now below that, I'm just going to click on this text as well. I'm going to add some new text. Class of 2022 art projects. And I'm going to delete the top text and I'm just going to move this over here. And then I'm going to resize this text block. So I'm just going to select the text, change the font size like so. And I'm just going to put a space over here, move this over here like this, like so. And now I'm just going to place it over here. And now I'm going to move this over here as well. And now after that, I can click on change page background and then you're just going to click on image over here on your left side and then you can upload your own media i'm just going to click on media from wix and i'm just going to search for art over here you will obviously upload your own media you're, you can upload your own picture as one of the homepage pictures and you can upload your artwork as well whatever kind of artwork you do you can upload a few samples uh, like a collage of those if you want but we're just going to continue on with a simple image like like this one and I'm going to click on change background and now you can see this is now our home page now after our home page we're going to click on the top left over here and we're going to click on selected work and what you're going to do is after you open up the second page so this is the second page where the work is present now I'm just going to, going to click on manage media uh, this is like a Wix gallery which is basically a grid form which allows you to upload multiple images together and I'm just going to delete this first to show you guys how to add Add this so I'm gonna click on the left side over here click on add and then you're just going to scroll down click on gallery and then you can see there are different galleries available and you can add any one of these galleries to illustrate your work uh, let's say I'm going to add this one so I'm just going to place it over here and now I'm gonna click on manage media and now I can just delete all of these images so I'm just going to click on select all, click on delete, and then I'm going to click on add media, add images, and then you're going to upload your own work. I am just going to use some of these images uh, from the Wix gallery just as a reference, I'm actually uploading my own work. This is just to show you guys how to do it. And I'm just going to search for art for whatever school projects you have done, whatever uh, projects that are completed or finished or anything like that. You're just going to upload all of that over here. And we're just going to keep on adding a couple of more images. You can add as many as you want and then you can even create different pages to illustrate uh, some other sides of your work so i've added just these three images and i'm just going to click on done and now these images will be added like so so you can see these images have been added this kind of wix gallery is best suited uh, for more images most definitely but there are other wix galleries that you can add as well now after that let's say if you have this section maybe you want to create another page to illustrate ongoing work then for that what you're going to do is you're going to click on on add and then below that you have your menus and pages section within your selected work page you can add a sub page called ongoing work or you can create a absolutely different page i like to create a sub page so i'm just going to click on blank sub page and once that page has been created what i'm going to do is i'm going to name this ongoing projects and now this is like another page so i'm just going to click this over here and move this slightly to the right and what this does is that this makes ongoing projects a sub page of selected work and just like that now i have a sub page and within that sub page i can add all of my um, ongoing projects uh, so you can add you know anything you're currently working on images text whatever you want so that is how simple and easy it is to create your portfolio then you're just going to click on publish on the top right over here and then you can click on view site to see what your website is currently looking like or your portfolio is currently looking like so this is what my portfolio is looking like if i click on selected work then the work is present over here and within the selected work section like if i put my mouse or cursor over it i have this sub page ongoing project so i can click on that to view ongoing projects now once you have created your website if you go back onto your wix panel this will be uh go back onto your wix account then you will find it if and this is the website and my my site section and then what i can do is i can click on select site to actually go and manage my website or portfolio uh, without having to you know access the website editor so from here you can manage uh, where your contacts are marketing seo any of that stuff as well so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video